Welcome to the, Using Studio Palette, video tutorial, created to expose the Studio Palette features, and their proper usage. The Studio Palette, allows you to store and manage an unlimited number of palettes. It is intended as a library of character and prop palettes, related to, one or more, specific productions. From here palettes, or styles contained in them, can be retrieved, assigned, or merged to the current level palette, with no need to define the same styles, again and again. It consists of a palette tree, and a palette viewer. At any time it is possible to resize the studio palette sections, clicking and dragging the related separator. The palette tree lists two main folders, Tunes Palettes and Project Palettes, and all the folders and palettes you add. When palettes are added to the Tunes Studio Palette, they are copied to the Studio Palette folder located where Tunes projects are stored. When palettes are added to the Project Studio Palette, they are copied to the Plus Palettes folder, you specified for the current project. This folder can be used, for example, to move your Studio Palette, or the Project Studio Palette, to a different network, or to make a backup copy of it. About the Palette Viewer, displays the currently selected palette, and allows you to edit it as a standard one. Any level palette can be added to the studio palette. Now, I'm going to load a TLV level on this sheet for the next example. To add a level palette to the studio palette, you have to select the level in order to display its palette. Click the palette button in the bottom bar of the palette and drag the current palette to the studio palette folder where you want to locate it. The palette will retain its name. If a color model is defined for the level, it will be saved along with the palette and retrieved any time the palette will be assigned to a level. Let's take an overview about procedures needed to managing palettes and folders into the palette tree. Add an empty palette and select the folder where you want to create the new palette. Click the new palette button in the bottom bar of the studio palette tree. To name a palette, double click its name and type a new name. To view a palette in the studio palette, select it in the palette tree. To add a new folder, select the folder where you want to create it and click the new folder button in the bottom bar of the studio palette tree. To name a folder, double click its name and type a new name. To delete a palette or a folder, select it in the palette tree and cl click the delete button in the bottom bar of the studio palette tree. To rearrange palettes in the studio palette folder, click and drag the palette from the current location to the new one. Palettes added to the Tunes Palettes folder will be available in the Studio Palette in any Tunes session, regardless of the current project. Palettes added to the Project Palettes folder will be available only when their project is the current one. For example, if your current project is Production 1, and you add some palettes to the Project Palettes folder, those palettes will be available only when the current project is Production 1. Now, I'm going to activate the previous project, so you can have another example about how the Project Palette folder works. If you want to add to the Studio Palette, a series of palettes you have previously created and stored in a folder, you can also automatically retrieve them by searching that specific folder. To add palettes by searching in a computer folder, 
Select the folder where you want to place palettes retrieved during the search, and click the search for palettes button, in the bottom bar of the studio palette tree. Then, type the full path of the computer folder, you want to scan. Let's see now other procedures related to the interaction between the studio palette and the current level palette. To perform this example, I'm going to load again a TLV level on the sheet. To load a palette from the studio palette, to the current level palette, click and drag the palette from the studio palette tree, to the palette button, in the bottom bar of the palette. Note that, in case the palette misses some styles, used to paint the level drawings, you will be prompted whether to delete the styles only, and show the lines and areas painted with them in red. Or to delete the lines and areas painted with them, as well. To merge a palette from the studio palette, to the current level palette, click and drag the palette, from the studio palette tree, to the level palette. To copy styles from the studio palette to the current level palette, and vice versa, select the palette in the studio palette to display it in the palette viewer. Select the styles you want to copy in one palette. Trill click, and drag the selection to the other palette. If you drag the selection, to the right of the last page tab, a new page will be created, containing the drag styles. Styles, imported from the studio palette to the palette of the current level, are marked with a small white square. This reference, can be used to link styles to the original studio palette styles. The link can be activated or deactivated anytime, for any selection of styles. To activate a style link to the studio palette, select the styles that have been imported from the studio palette. Right click the selection, and select toggle link to studio palette, from the menu that opens. When the link is activated, an arrow is displayed on the small white square, and the style will be updated, according to the original studio palette style. To deactivate a style link to the studio palette, select the styles that have been linked to the studio palette. Right click the selection, and select toggle link to studio palette from the menu that opens. When the link is deactivated, the style can be modified, regardless of the original studio palette style. To remove style reference to the studio palette, select the styles that have a reference to the studio palette, Right-click the selection, and select Remove Reference to Studio Palette, from the menu that opens. Linking animation level palettes to the Studio Palette, can assure color consistency for the whole production, because as soon as a change is needed, it can be done in the Studio Palette, automatically updating all the linked animation levels palettes and, consequently, drawings. In the level palette, the information about which studio palette the palette styles refers to, can be retrieved in the list view mode, where next to the style thumbnails and names, the path to the source studio palette is displayed. Thanks for your attention, and see you on the next video tutorial.